Now, the next size of motherboard we want to talk about is the Mini ATX. The Mini ATX is 11.2 by 8.2 inches in size, and it does also include seven expansion slots. But we have another called the Micro ATX, and this was introduced in 1997. Its maximum size is 9.6 by 9.6 inches, but some are as small as 6.75 by 6.76 inches. So we can see some really small versions of this board. It has up to four expansion slots, and this is what it looks like. Now, we'll see with these kinds of boards that we are still going to have the same basic components that we saw with our standard ATX. So we have a place to insert our processor. We have our chipset for communications with the RAM and with the video. We have our chipset for communications with the USB and other connections. We still have in this system a floppy disk drive connector, and we have our PETA connectors or ATA connectors. And then we also have up here in this particular device some SATA connectors. So this motherboard is going to support SATA as well as the older ATA or IDE standards. We have our expansion slots over here so that we can put in different types of expansion boards. And we also have our memory chip location. So a different form factor, but the same basic components that we saw on the ATX board. 